Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Sergio and welcome to a new Anima 2D tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will be making the running animation for our character. But before we start, we're gonna be making a few changes. First of all, I got Philip Zhang, I believe that's how you pronounce it in the comments, uh, pointing out to me that there is a setting in the IK limbs that allows us to unlock those foot bones without the need to having another IK. So I'm gonna show you how we can change that really quickly. And then we're gonna make another change, which is we're gonna bring down the alpha value of those bones because right now, as we could see in the last episode where we, when I was trying to make in the walk animation, this was a whole mess of just body parts, bones, and just uh, things on the screen, which really doesn't allow us to see um, the body parts of the character itself. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to bring down that alpha value. So with Alt pressed, we're gonna click on the arrow here and let's select all of those bones and bring the alpha down to something like this. Something like this will be fine. As long as you can see them a little tiny bit, that's good. And then we're also gonna remove these two left foot and right foot IKs, just delete them. And we're gonna select the left leg IK and the right leg IK, and then deselect the orient child property, which will allow you to move that bone freely. So that's perfect. Now I changed my walking animation a little bit, I wasn't happy with it, so I played around with Anima for a little longer and came up with this. So if you just want to follow along with me from the point where we left in the last episode, I will leave the Unity package in the description below so you can download it and just get going. So for the running animation, we are going to be doing the same method that we did for the walking animation. So the first thing that we need to do is to of course create a new clip, which we're going to call run. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my reference image, which I'm gonna have in another screen, so you're not gonna be able to see it. However, I will leave a link in the description below, so you can use the same one if you want to. And in the first position, we have our character with his leg, with his left leg fully extended, over here in the edge of the floor, and with his right leg way back here, bent like that. And now you can see that you can just move those move those bones from the feet freely, which is really, really nice. And then also we're gonna move his left arm down here and the right arm, we're gonna bring it forwards a little bit like so. For the next one, this is gonna be the lowest point for the character. So we're gonna bring down those hips down to 0.9. Okay, perfect. And then we want that left leg to be touching the ground with a straight foot, which I didn't do. There it goes. And then the right leg is going to fall down like so a little bit. And the foot is going to be backwards a little bit more. Then the arm is going to fall down a little tiny bit. As, and the same goes for the other arm like so. Let me activate onion skin so we can see it a little better. To make sure that you're seeing in the onion skin, you're seeing exactly what positions you made in each one of these points, uh, or like in the um, five second mark and, and the five millisecond mark and the zero zero, make sure you set the step to five. That way it will show you the position every five frames, which is what we're doing here. So that's what we want. Then for the second, the next position, we're going to have his hips coming up a little bit so let's put 88 negative 88 for the hip position and then i'm gonna bring the left arm down like so a little bit try to make the movement of the arms as as smoothly in a curve as you can uh, and the same go f goes for the legs so if, if you make it like this where you can see that smooth movement up and down like kind of like in a curve so you can pretty much come here to the middle and you can draw a curve like so then that's that's the point where you want to be because that's the way we swing our arms and stuff 
so that's gonna make it more uh, look more natural so then for this we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing that leg somewhere around here and the foot it's gonna be straight on the ground like so then the right leg make sure you take your time with this don't don't try to rush it because you're gonna regret it later so here you can see that I've got my foot down here like that you see how it goes down like that well that's not how you're supposed to do it it's better if you do it this way that way it feels more like the it feels like a more natural movement so let's keep going for the next position we're gonna be at the same the hips are gonna be at the same height as they were in the first keyframes so let's copy and paste that keyframe we're gonna be bringing that arm up here and this right arm is gonna start going backwards like so and we're gonna have this leg go start to go back like that and the foot like that and then the right leg is gonna start to move up front like so and then in the next position this is going to be the highest point for the player for the character and let's put that negative negative 0 0.844 now uh, let's do for three 83 there you go that'll do in this position the left leg it's going to be all the way straight like that and the foot is going to be barely touching the ground the right leg is going to be coming forwards and then the left arm which is for some reason appearing in front of my leg but we'll fix that later is going to be coming up like this and the right arm is going to be coming back like so and then the right foot is going to be probably oh, something like that moving on to the next position the hips are going to come down a little tiny bit so let's bring that to 84 845 that should be good and we're gonna set this leg over here up in the air there it is you can see that curve occurring over there we're gonna bring the foot further back And then we have the contact position again. So we're going to copy and paste that keyframe for the hips. And we're going to bring the arms a little bit more to the inside like that. And the leg is going to come up like so. And this right leg is going to be touching the ground with the foot pointing up. So let's see what we got so far. Let me deactivate the onion skin. Okay, so that's looking pretty smooth. Now, this is the first half of the animation. The, the next half is going to be the same, but inverted. So I'm going to fast forward this and I'll come back when I'm done with it.
Okay, so after we have baked our animation, we can go ahead and disable the IKs. Now I remember what we did in the last episode. We after we were done positioning the the IKs and we were happy with the animation, we duplicated the clip, called it uh, run pre in this case, and then moved it onto the pre bake folder. So with those IKs disabled, we can go ahead and test how this looks after it has been baked. And it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty natural. You see how following that path, that curve right there, allows you to make it more look more natural. Now this left arm here looks a little bit flickering there. However, just make sure you really check thoroughly, you're happy with that you're happy with the animation you have made. If you aren't, just keep retouching it until you get it right and then bake it. So there it was, that was everything for today's tutorial. Now in the next tutorial, we're, I'm gonna show you how you can create a character controller with some basic uh, input and movement, some jumping and all the animations and stuff so that all of this actually comes together and we can see our character moving and just pretty much do what you would do if you were to use this for a game such as a 2d platformer so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up comment uh, any questions or any suggestions that you have for future tutorials down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next episode